What is genetic testing? Genetic testing is medical testing that doctors use to look for changes or variants in a person's genes or DNA that can cause diseases. Genes provide instructions that tell the body how to function. Genes are part of our DNA, and DNA is what makes each person unique. What genetic tests are used to diagnose rare diseases? Single gene tests, gene panel tests, and genomic tests can be used for diagnosis. Single gene tests look for changes in a single gene. Gene panel tests look for changes in many genes. Genomic tests look for changes in all of a person's genes, exome testing, or in all of a person's DNA, called genome testing. The results of genetic testing can be positive, negative, or uncertain. A positive result means that a gene change was found that is known to cause a disease. A negative test means that no gene changes were found that are known to cause a disease. Sometimes gene changes are found and there is not enough information to know if they cause a disease. Why should I consider genetic testing for me or my child? Many rare and undiagnosed diseases are caused by gene changes. Genetic testing can provide a diagnosis and this can help doctors determine the best treatment. Your doctor might also suggest that other doctors be added to your care team to help manage the disease. Some diseases run in families, so the information might be helpful for family planning for you and your relatives. A diagnosis can also help you find a community of people who have the same disease. Patient communities can provide support and information about resources and research. How can I find out if genetic testing could be helpful? Ask your doctor if genetic testing could provide information about the cause of your disease. You can also ask for a referral to a genetic counselor or look for a genetic counselor on the National Society of Genetic Counselors website. Why should I meet with a genetic counselor before deciding about genetic testing? Genetic counselors ask questions about your medical and family history to decide what type of genetic test is best for you. They will explain what can be learned from the test and what different results may mean for your medical care. A genetic counselor can also help you understand the results of the genetic test and help you plan for the next steps in your medical care. If I've already had genetic testing, is there a need for additional genetic testing? Different genetic tests may look at different genes or different parts of your DNA. Your doctor might offer a different genetic test if earlier tests did not find the cause of your disease. What is the difference between genetic tests you can order from home and clinical genetic tests? Clinical genetic tests are ordered by doctors to help with the diagnosis of a disease. Genetic tests you can order from home without a doctor, called direct-to-consumer tests, may provide information about ancestry and the risk of developing some diseases. However, these tests should not be used to make decisions about medical care without talking to a doctor. Clinical genetic testing is needed to confirm results from most direct-to-consumer tests before making a disease diagnosis or planning your medical care. What is the difference between clinical genetic tests and research genetic tests? Clinical genetic tests are done in clinical diagnostic laboratories to identify the cause of a disease in a patient. Research genetic tests are done in research laboratories to help scientists learn more about the role of genes in causing a disease. Most research laboratories are not certified to work as clinical diagnostic laboratories, so it's illegal for most research laboratories to give test results to patients or their doctors. How much does genetic testing cost, and will my insurance or Medicaid pay for it? The cost of genetic testing can range from a couple hundred dollars to several thousand dollars. Some genetic tests are covered by private insurance and Medicaid. Your doctor or genetic counselor can help you find out what tests are covered by your insurance and advocate for coverage if they decide the testing is important for your medical care. What happens to my DNA after genetic testing? DNA for genetic testing is usually obtained from a blood or saliva sample. Before drawing blood or asking for saliva for a genetic test, a doctor or genetic counselor will explain the benefits and limitations of the test and ask the person to sign a consent form. The consent form will say if the DNA will be used for other purposes, including research. The decision about whether to have genetic testing is a personal one. 
Am I protected from discrimination based on results from genetic testing? The Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act, also called GINA, is a law in the U.S. that helps protect people who have been diagnosed with gene changes. GINA makes it illegal for health insurance companies to use results from genetic tests to deny coverage or determine cost of coverage. Your genetic counselor will be able to tell you more about the specific protections GINA provides.